Donald Trump. Um, well, I think maybe I've been watching too much Charlie Sheen because Donald Trump seems perfectly sane to me. Um, I don't know where he gets this $2 million Obama is sp has spent to keep his birth certificate quiet. He posted his birth certificate on his web page. I am glad that Donald Trump is bringing it up so that people who haven't really been paying attention and don't know that the American Spectator, Human Events, Fox News, um, you know, every conservative outlet has already shot down this rumor, which, by the way, was started by the Hillary Clinton campaign. Now they will have a chance to find out this is Donald Trump's Pierre Salinger moment. You can't believe everything you read on the internet. Obama has produced his birth certificate. There were announcements that ran in two contemporaneous Hawaiian newspapers at the time. The head of the Hawaiian Medical Records has announced, I have seen the long form you all want. Um, I don't know why the long form is considered more credible than the short form. They're both from the same office. The State Department accepts the short form, or as we call it, the birth certificate. Um, Hawaii accepts the birth certificate, short form. Um, so, I mean, it, it is a conspiracy theory that won't die on the Internet, but every responsible conservative organization to look at it has shot it down, which is why you normally hear it being talked about exclusively on the liberal cable stations. Yeah, well, it's an interesting point, and one of the main people demanding release is, interestingly, uh, thrill up our leg, Chris Matthews. Why don't, they, why don't they just release it? I mean, it does raise a question, but you bring up good points, not the, not the least of which. We're going to talk to Donald Trump on the show later this week. Uh, we'll ask him, but there's, I think, a broader, bigger issue here is that all of a sudden an issue that was on the periphery a little bit, he hits it, hits it hard, and people take note. So what is it about right. him that, you know, when he speaks, people listen and, you know, those issues resonate? Um, well, two things. I mean, I think the main thing is no conservative who talks on TV or has a column or has a magazine has mentioned the birth certificate issue because we've looked at it and have discounted it. You have people who want to get, you know, hits to their websites or want to get listeners to their radio show who will keep ginning people up about this. But it is one of the rare conservative, con well, I suppose more conservative than liberal only because it's anti-Obama, but I don't even know that these are conservatives promoting it. As I say, this came out of the Hillary Clinton campaign. Um, so Donald Trump is the only person who would be invited on a TV show who is pushing the birther thing. That's why it's getting attention, and of course, liberals are delighted. Well, I think Obama to him, is though, delighted. It's, it's not the only thing that he's talked about. I mean, he's sure. talking about America's position in the world, our economic policy, mm -hmm. balancing budgets. Ch you know, China is not our, America's friends. So it's, he's a lot more substantive, but once that became an issue and he said it, then it just blew up in every interview that he does. And, and I'll ask him about it, but it's not the key, the, the most important part of our interview. All right, so if it's not no, going to be... No, you'll notice who's right. asking him about it. it. It is the liberal media. They want to keep talking about it because it helps discredit all opposition to Obama. There are a lot of reasons to think Obama is a very bad president who is doing very bad things to this country. The idea that he was born in Kenya is not one of them, but it allows liberals, the mainstream media, the White House itself to go, oh, all opposition to me, it's these crazy birthers. Well, no, it, it isn't. You haven't heard that on Fox News. You haven't heard it in human events in National Review or American Spectator, all of which have shot it down. All right, let me ask, if you, as you look at the field of candidates, who, who in your mind jumps out at, the, at you the most, and, and how important is how the Republicans handle the budget and what you thought of the budget deal, how important is that going to be for whoever the ultimate candidate is? No, I'm glad you mentioned that. I mean, I think that's part of the reason that Donald Trump is so popular as a potential presidential candidate, that we, we, we don't have a very strong field. And um, I have news for you, um, the money people, the big GOP donors are taking the position that they're holding their money until they find out at the end of the summer whether Chris Christie is running. And if he doesn't run, they'll give it to, to Romney. But right now, they're holding out for Chris Christie. Um, and as, it, as I've said before, I think Chris Christie, um, if it's not Chris Christie, it will be Romney. I think Chris Christie would win. I'm not so sure about Romney. He might. Yeah, he might but I keep Obama. bringing the, uh, 